My family actually is a lower class. It's not unusual. Uh, I have four brother and four sister, and my father was in an army, uh, and my mother working as a housewife and then helping getting some money by selling some cakes in, yeah, in front of uh, my house. We try to survive. <laughs> For example, I remember that when my mother uh, last time buy one uh, piece of fish and then we have to divide it by nine. <laughs> You can imagine. <laughs> so this also uh, give some impression to me that we have to uh, sacrifice for others as well. Six of my brother couldn't go to uh, the university because we don't have money. For me, I was lucky because I got some scholarship. I can enter the university. <laughs> when I went to the US, I was thinking that I have to come back to Indonesia after I graduate. I have to develop physics in Indonesia. That's my dream. But how did we start? That's the biggest question. In 1993, there is a physics olympiad in Williamsburg. So I said, maybe this is the way. Uh, maybe I have to start from the physics olympiad. So that's why I invite some students from Indonesia and I train them. And the result was very good. So it encouraged me to do more. Yeah, my invention is how to make physics easy, fun, and enjoyable, and then also mathematics. I invent this during training the physical Olympiad and during the training of the uh, Papua student. And with this invention, a student will learn physics and math very easily. Anybody can learn uh, both subject in a uh, easy, fun, and enjoyable way. Actually, when I come back home at 1994, we start with this organization. We call Indonesian Physics Olympiad Team. And we have a foundation for that. Then, in 2006, we changed this foundation, become Surya Institute, because of the broader vision. Indonesian Physics Foundation is only for training Indonesian students, but Surya Institute is broader. We want to train not only students but also teachers. That's why we built that foundation. Yeah, one thing that we have to remember that working hard, that's a very basic things. You can get anything that you want if you work very hard and then you have a big vision. Actually, I call this as a mestakung. Mestakung is like, uh, we, in Indonesia, we call semesta mendukung. It means the universe follow. So when you have a big vision, then you work hard to get this vision the universe will follow.